Welcome back to the discussion on normalization and creating a logic data model. And in this example, we have a car rental transaction company, and this is their database board. Perhaps it's a, a large whiteboard in a room somewhere where they track all the database information, all the cars going in and out, and all the bookings and the the actual transactions when they're done they'll write that onto a ticket they can erase the line off the board and then put the next piece of information on the board and we were talking about well if we're going to talk about the normalization of this table what's one of the problems that's going to occur when we erase information from the board. So you can see in, in this particular example, if I were to delete one of these rows, I then lose all this information about the customer, where the customer contact is, uh, what level they are as for a member, so maybe they have a paid membership to this company. We lose information about the car, we lose the information about the rental rate for that car. So that's, that's in itself a big problem. That's a lot of integrity errors that are uh, just inherent in this type of physical table. So in order to do a normalization, we have to go through what we call normal forms. So in the first step, if you see our table above, we could call that 0NF. So that's no normal. There's no normalization applied. And that's the table that we have above. The second or the first level that we go to is 1NF which is first normal form. And what's the rule with first normal form? A table is in first normal form if it has no repeating elements. Repeat elements. Also, if it has no repeating groups. So let's take a look at our table above. We do have, if we're looking at the primary key as transaction ID, we definitely see that we have repeating elements in there. So immediately this table fails the first normal form. It's not in first normal form, so we'll have to do some normalization to it to get it to that form. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the other types of normal forms. Second, or Let's write that as 2NF, second normal form. So we'll call that second normal form. And what is the rule of second normal form? So that is no partial dependencies. on part of the primary key. And then let's look at the third 3NF, which is third normal form. And what is the rule with the table in third normal form? It's no non-key attribute dependent on another non key attribute
And another way of saying that is all our non-key attributes have to be related to some sort of primary key. While not a rule, I'll give you this piece of information. When an entity fails a normal form, we create a new entity. A new entity. Okay, so these rules, this is something that I'd like you to to write down somewhere. Uh, if you're looking at doing an exam, is write down these rules for first normal form. First normal form, no repeating elements, no repeating groups. A uh, table is in, or an entity is in second normal form if we have no partial dependency on part of the primary key. And a table is in third normal form if we have no non-key no non attribute de dependent on another non-key attribute. So as far as when we do uh, real life practicing, uh, we go up to third normal form. After that, uh, we get into debates of performance versus normalization, because you could say, well, how about we go to BCNF, which is Boyce Cod Normal Form. Uh, that then depends on, on how you want to architect the solution. And then for the cases that we're doing here, we're not going to go as far as to a BCNF or a fourth, fifth, or, or sixth normal form.